Well, today's December 17th and I got a call that I really didn't want to get. Actually, a text message from uh, the neighboring farmer. He, of course, he found the BLT dead. Um, just kind of a bummer. I mean, it's, you know, some people say it's just another deer, and it is. We, uh, it's just a deer that we followed for a long, long time. I mean, he's obviously a big deer, but it's uh, just, just a deer we knew. And uh, really what was special about this deer was that he was kind of the first deer we thought maybe grew up and really benefited from our management that we started on this farm um, three or four years ago. So the story of BLT is over, but there's plenty more growing up now. Um, we got pictures of him on the 6th and 7th and got excited to possibly hunt him, but he did look, he had thinned up a bunch and almost looked like he was hunching up, and I guess I was playing denial in the back of my mind, but at least we found him. Uh, we called the DNR. Uh, we got a hold of the state police. I don't think the DNR was available right away, so they gave me um, some type of tag number. So I'm definitely going to keep him, and I'll probably mount him in my house. Uriah says he doesn't want one, but I'll probably get him one because <laughs> he he had a crack. He was the one guy that had a crack at this deer, so uh, it's just kind of a bumming thing for me and him. But life goes on, and and deer grow, so there'll be other deer to hunt. He was just one of the ones that we really got to know um, over these last few years. So we'll uh, we'll tell his story for sure. So. Big boys, BLT, 724. I don't even know what to say. I, that deer was not coming up there, but... <laughs> oh man, I'm almost still a little jittery. I thought it was gonna happen. I really did. 